I will. <laughs> well, online shopping is already up this year, early in the holiday season. Online retailers say a 16% revenue spike on Black Friday, and PayPal is reporting an increase of about 27% in volume compared to last year. But the deals are far from over. Tomorrow marks Cyber Monday. It's a day when traditionally online merchants offer deep discounts, and even uh, some of them give free shipping. And while it's a day retailers reap the benefits for the state, it means a lot of revenue can be lost or won. Fox's uh, Kristen Crowley reports. Ask Rosie Thiel why she shops online for the holidays. This year I found a lot of good deals. I've got a friend of mine who was looking for a DSi XL for his son, and they're 189 in the store. I got it online at Amazon for 140 which is an outstanding price for it. No crowds, great deals, all from the comfort of her home. And for many businesses, online sales are growing and bringing in much-needed revenue. Extremely important. We uh, get sale orders on our website from locally, amazingly, a local, number of local people, but all over the country as well. Saruji sales manager Marjorie Hitchcock says for local stores, being able to sell online to customers across the country helps business thrive. She says thousands of people outside Wisconsin will order for the holidays from Saruji's and De Pere, and that will bring money to the store, but not the state. If orders are shipped to an address in Wisconsin, we charge Wisconsin sales tax. If they're not going to Wisconsin, they're not charged Wisconsin tax. According to the Wisconsin Department of Revenue, those sales aren't taxable because they are made in interstate commerce. It says Wisconsin loses out on $150 million a year in sales tax to online shoppers. The National Retail Federation projects this holiday season nearly two-thirds of retailers' online sales will grow at least 15 percent compared to 2009. Some think not taxing just isn't fair. A spokesperson for the NRF says, We believe in a level playing field where everyone plays by the same tax rules, regardless of whether you sell merchandise in a Main Street store, through a catalog, or over the Internet. But for many shoppers who head online for good deals, not paying sales tax is an added bonus that keeps them surfing the web. On online's getting bigger and bigger every year, and it's like I said, it's just it's just convenient. I like it. In Green Bay, Kristen Crawley, Fox 11 News. Throughout the years, there have been several pushes in Congress to change the sales tax law, but nothing has ever gone through.